And now weather with meteorologist T.J. Springer, certified by WeatherAid for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. The heat has been our big story all week long, and it continues into the latter half of the work week. Welcome back. We've seen a little more cloud cover out there this morning, though. We still have some of those clouds on our satellite and radar imagery. We've also seen a couple of storms, nothing widespread, a couple of uh, showers dipping uh, or popping up through the area and sliding on to the east. It's thanks to a front that is uh, on top of uh, the region at the moment. We have some instability and enough lift in the atmosphere to fire those up. And we're going to keep that slim chance as we head throughout the remainder of our day. And we'll keep it tonight as well. Here's that live look in Branton. Definitely hazy, definitely hot and humid across the area. We can see that white tinge in the sky. That's a sign of how much moisture we have in the atmosphere and those particulates in the atmosphere can latch onto those. Taking a peek outside your door in Springfield, we have 88 degrees with a west to southwesterly wind coming in at almost 15. That is keeping us on the steamy side. Dew points are sitting in the low 70s, a lot higher than where they were yesterday, and that's leading to these incredibly high uh, heat index values or fuels like temps. And you can see 95 is the current heat index in Fort Leonard Wood, close to 100 degrees in Clinton, Monette. Feels more like 93 in Brands and 95 here in the metro. Not all that great whatsoever. It already feels hotter for most of us than what our expected highs are going to be today. I think uh, most of the viewing area going to be sitting in the lower 90s under just a little more cloud cover thanks to that frontal boundary. And we're going to keep that trend going throughout the next few days. Well above normal, the 90s going to prevail with the heat index values even hotter than that. We're in that extreme caution realm today. And for Friday and Saturday, still steamy around 100 degrees. The positive is that our Sunday features some drier air. It's still going to be hot, but the heat index values are not going to be as high. But it looks like the humidity starts to sneak back into the area as we head through early next week. And for today, anyway, that's why we have those heat advisories in effect through 8 o'clock tonight. Just excluding uh, a few of our counties down to the south, but I'm sure that all of us are going to be feeling similar conditions with even hotter feels like temps out toward the east where we find those uh, excessive heat warnings closer to places like St. Louis and the I-55 corridor. And it's not just us here throughout the show me state or the natural state, but the upper Midwest, the Ohio Valley, down into the deep south, all dealing with this heat dome thanks to that area of high pressure. Temperatures overnight above normal yet again back in the 70s with the potential for a stray storm or two as this front slides to the south not going to make its way through but it is going to give us the chance for some storms let's time that out here on future cast as we head through the remainder of our day we'll call it a mix of clouds and sunshine through dinner time as we head through the wee hours of our friday that's where we start to find this line of showers and thunderstorms that is working in from the north and it's really going to skim our far northeastern neighborhoods like Lake Ozark, Rala, and it looks like depending on how far south the front gets, we could see a couple more storms popping up in the heating of the day tomorrow. So we'll leave that a 10% chance in or so, but I still think we're going to have some sunshine and steamy conditions. We do have that risk for our far northeastern neighborhood, the marginal risk, meaning a one out of five on the risk scale. A couple of storms could include some gusty wind and some hail, something we'll be watching out for, uh, that's for sure, in the weather lab. But the good news is our Father's Day weekend is looking dry, still hot on our certified most accurate 7 day forecast. It's looking like we're going to have a little break from the humidity, as I mentioned, for our dad's day. So that's some good news there. But this ridge going to start to shift back to the west with the prevailing flow in the atmosphere, allowing temps to rebound on Monday. And it's looking like our first day of summer into the middle part of next week, Jesse, going to be sizzling and dry not not much rain at yeah. all yeah good news at least for father's day not quite as humid as uh, we're going to be seeing some days this oh week, my gosh sure. yeah yeah get out there with dads when we get around to golfing or something a little relief yeah that'd be awesome yeah. to get out to the golf course yeah sure would be tj <laughs> thanks coming up next we're gonna have a guest in studio